Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Um, tonight I'm going to leave you guys with just a quick read of what is coming towards you in December, the rest of December, okay? So I'm just a little bit under the weather and I just really don't have the energy tonight. So, all right, let's get started. If you're new, please do hit that like, share, and subscribe button if you enjoy my readings. And yay, we got to the 30,000 subscribers. Awesome, awesome. And also there's a personal reading link below the video. I am running a special for the month of December, so do check that out. Okay, what's coming towards Virgo? Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, the month of December, the Two of Swords popped out here. So there's a big decision you're needing to make, um, or maybe a compromise in December, okay? Um, a big decision. And trusting your intuition, you're gonna need to trust your intuition on this, on this decision, or whatever it is that's coming up, doing a lot of thinking. Um, something to do with your feelings. Uh, trusting your head, going with your, your logic, or, or, or basing the decision on your emotions, okay, in December. All right, okay, so this is whether to, for some of you, temporarily or just leave a situation, walk away from something, or take a break, um, or go on some kind of a journey, or take a trip. Eight of Cups, hmm, okay whether to withdraw, retreat, move on, um, trying to figure out if someone's abandoned you or if something's over. Yeah, so there's a lot of this energy playing out here also. Yeah, Seven of Swords, wow, okay. A lot of this decision has to do with whether or not to move on from a person, place, or a thing in December, okay? Somebody was born in 1987. Somebody might be an Aquarius or a Pisces, okay? So should you just run for the hills? Just cut it off, just go, just leave. If someone is being deceitful, um, there's a lot of energy. You're trusting your gut. Are you going to be needing to trust your gut in December, okay? Because you have a, a big crossroad here, a big decision that you need to make, okay? You also have something, an opportunity showing up here for you to create something really amazing in your life. Let me see here. Okay. Wow, Eight of Swords in the reverse. So this is coming out of your comfort zone, definitely, to manifest something new. Um, the opportunity is going to arise here, Virgo, for you to do this. Okay? Turning some type of a vision into reality, right? So you might be stuck in that Two of Swords trying to make a decision about what to do, but I feel like if you decide to come out of your comfort zone with a decision here, um, I feel like you're you're going to be full of abundance. You're going to receive what you actually need um, because this is about releasing something and getting your hope back, okay? This is getting liberation and freedom. Absolutely. Um, let's see. Being inspired. Yeah, so something is holding you back. And again, it could be related to an emotional situation where it's kind of like, well, your heart says one thing, but your head says another. Okay? And I feel like because the cups is here, which represents your heart, I feel like your heart is telling you to um, let go of something. And the swords here rep represent your thoughts and your logic. And your thoughts are also saying the same thing, okay? Um, your thoughts are saying it, it, you might be coming into alignment in December. Right now, as you're listening to this reading, you might be a little confused. Your heart might be saying one thing and your head is saying a different thing. But in December, I feel like they're going to come into alignment. And you will feel sure about this decision, about walking away or moving on, or retreating, withdrawing, pulling away, getting out of Dodge, whatever the situation is, sneaking out the door, whatever it might be, leaving something, abandoning plans or things that you, or something that you were hoping for. But in doing so, here comes the magician and the eight of swords reversed. That's what I was saying. In walking away and leaving something behind, now you have a new opportunity, new hope you can release you have liberation, you have the freedom to create what it is that you want to create and start over again. Wow, 
crazy how this is happening here. Okay, so we have Gemini, there's Sagittarius energy. So yeah, things come into balance here. I feel like in December, you're gonna know what to do, okay? You're gonna know what to do. If this is leaving a relationship or entering into another one, if this is leaving a job or entering into a different job or um, whatever it is, there's a crossroad here and there's a decision being made. And I feel like once it's made, once your head and your heart come into alignment, as I said before, um, everything is gonna come together. Universe is gonna conspire to give you what it is, at least peace of mind here. That's what uh, temperance is. Peace of mind, give you peace, give you a sense of peace. All right, so King of Wands is here. Could have something to do with a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Or you might be getting into that energy where the King of Wands is an energy, is someone who is bold, makes a bold, make, making bold moves, courageous, powerful, uh, and feeling confident and self-assured. And I feel like... Um, Definitely in December, you're going to have that energy of like, yes, you know this is the right thing to do. And the reward is going to be amazing. And yep, coming out of the comfort zone, Six of Swords, getting into a, a more peaceful place, getting away from uh, suffering or a sense of something just dragging on or feeling like it's never going to end. Yeah, the Death card is in reverse. That's tough. Um, It, it just, it, <laughs> I don't know, I can't talk. It just feels like um, you're, you're, you've been suffering with something and you really haven't been able to make a decision. There's been this feeling stuck energy. Okay. Might have something to do with um, some type of commitment. Um, it feels like, um, do I sound like I'm crying? I'm not. Um, you've been in some kind of an illusion, and, and I feel like you get this clarity that you need. Yeah, you do. December is going to be profound. You know, um, if you don't make the decision, it's going to get made for you. You know, when when universe is trying to move you out of something and you're not budging, universe will make it happen. They will make it happen. So uh, I do feel like you're going to get clarity about this stuck situation, this stagnant, stagnant um, position that you're in or you've been in. It just kind of feels like your energy is like, I'm done. It's done and dusted. I know what to do now. I know what I need to do. And then you begin, yeah, to start manifesting and creating and building and putting the effort into where you really need to be. I feel like you can't get to the next the next phase or level or place in your life until this stagnant energy is gone until it's gone because i feel like you need to um uh, stir the waters a little bit here get something going because you're there's like a dragging energy like this this thing needs to change something here needs to change okay let me see as far as love goes what can you tell Virgo about love spirit? Okay. Yeah. There's somebody in your surroundings who is unsure. They're hesitant. There's a hesitation. Um, they don't know what to think. They have like these boundaries up protecting themselves. The nine of wands energy. Um, yeah. I feel like this person is um, battle weary. Um, strategizing, trying to figure out what to do going forward. And maybe in a relationship, that's something that's leaving you stuck or leaving you. It's almost like you're taking the reins now in December, taking control of your destiny. Okay. <laughs> um, so as far as another person goes, it feels like somebody might have um, cut you off or cut you out and pulled back their energy and they're not doing anything and they are hesitant and keeping you maybe in wait, not letting you know what's going on. There might have been um, that Five of Swords is tough energy. That's kind of like a bully or maybe abusive relationship of some sort. And if you were in that, I'm so sorry. 
that you were in that, but I do feel like you are making a decision to fully remove yourself from this. Whether this is a love relationship, romantic friendship, uh, acquaintance, family member, whatever the case may be, December has you like saying, no, I need to release myself from this energy so I can move on and have my path laid out before me and I can go and live my life. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody maybe was taking their sweet time, um, or holding the, um, dangling the carrot in front of you and having you come and get it but not making any moves. There's all this stagnant energy here. Nobody making any moves here. And it looks like you're walking or you're moving away or somebody was kind of like saying, well, I have everything you need right here. You just have to come and get it or you have to come and chase for it. Um, I'm not gonna pursue you. And if I do, I'm gonna take my own sweet time and I don't care about your time. So Virgo, it looks to me like you're like, well, you can just sit there on your horse all day because I'm not chasing after anything. Yeah, that's what I feel like is going on here. The most someone here is able to do is to just sit there and just, you know, hold that big shiny pinnacle right there in front of you and say, here it is if you want it and make you come after it. It looks like you're saying, nope. Okay. Um, so we have fire, we have air, we have earth. Oh, huh. Three of swords. Interesting. Okay. I don't know if this person was like, they're very heartbroken. This person has like some kind of breakup. They're hesitant about getting back into a relationship. They're not pursuing. Um, they're kind of like, that's why I said they have their boundaries up. And, um, you know, that's really not your problem. I mean, if someone's trying to connect with you, but they're not ready or they're too scared, they're going to have to sort that out within themselves first. Yeah, the three swords, there might have been like, um, you know, maybe they... For some, there might have been an argument um, or another or a third party involvement in the situation. Past, present, future. Uh, well, not future, past, present. Um, maybe a divorce or um, separation or uh, not communicating at this time. Yeah, I kind of feel like Virgo, you are, you're making your moves. Okay, maybe this person intentionally hurt you or did or said something or broke your heart or something, you know, look, Ace of Cups in the reverse, delaying, 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 um, a potential love, um, potential re relationship, potential romantic relationship, delaying mortgage, uh, mortgage, <laughs> delaying, uh, yeah, maybe payments on a mortgage, delaying marriage, um, delaying wanting to have a child, um, or, or not wanting that, or, um, you know, not proposing if you guys were together for like years and years and years and just being very stagnant and hesitant about uh, that kind of thing. Or, um, you know, even if it's a family member or a friend, um, this person just very skittish. It feels like they're very skittish and want you to do all the work and, and like put in like 80, 90 percent of everything and be the pursuer. And they're going to, it feels like they put in half effort or a little bit of effort to make it seem like they're interested, but then to have you pursue. And it looks like you're in a place here, Virgo, where it's like, no, you're cutting out, you're blocking. Some of you might even just be trying to make a decision to block somebody for good and just say no and be done with this because of, you know, the way they're, you guys are not in alignment. There's no alignment here. Okay. Yeah. Somebody breadcrumbing you. That's always my breadcrumb card. Sometimes in relationship readings, the six of cups, look at, you see those people holding their hands out and then person's dropping, like, it looks like breadcrumbs. Yeah. And not just to you breadcrumbing other people as well, like you and another person, you know, um, sure they're being reciprocal, but look, look at the status of that person there in the red. Okay. They're in a much better position and I feel like you and maybe another person are down there and they wanted you to beg for whatever they were giving or beg for their breadcrumbs F that yeah and you and another person like looking like you're poor broke busted and disgusted and just taking whatever handouts no 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 we're going to keep coming to your senses in December and if you haven't already I feel like you know maybe some of you already have but I feel like you are making this decision 
or it's happening in December that you're getting away from someone who's just treating you um, disrespectfully or just, you know, maybe leaving you hanging there in a, in a stagnant situation until they're ready or until they feel like they have the, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it doesn't feel balanced and you're seeking balance. That's why temperance is here. You're seeking that even flow. Somebody might've been keeping secrets, hiding things from you, maybe hiding another relationship or uh, just being very quiet, not communicating. Um, this person is very intuitive. Okay, but not communicating, not saying anything, um, hoping you could just read their mind. That's how they communicate um, and making you guess and figure things out. You figure it out. They're not going to say anything. That's their energy towards you. You come to me and ask me questions. You come to me and pry. And then with the five of swords, then I'm going to push you away for asking questions. Like, it's just so sick. It's not right. It's, it's just not right. Okay. This person is extremely codependent, which means there's manipulation. I don't know who this person is. You know, the readings are different every day. So if it resonates for you, you might know. Um, but the only two court cards that are showing up here, we have Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But with the water, the Queen of Cups in the reverse, the Queen of Cups in the reverse is smothering, extremely insecure, maybe even an addict. Um, they're abusive and an emotional manipulator. That's how they're operating. So some of you may be in a relationship with someone who is like that, or you may connect with someone in December who's like that. And then, you know, or it's a friend or a family member and you make this decision. Yeah, it happens in, in December. You're, you're getting out of Dodge. You're leaving the situation, getting into a much better place in your life. Okay. So getting to know each other. So I feel like for some of you, honestly, you're understanding something about someone here and not looking through rose colored glasses in December. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Yeah, I kind of feel like that bond though is it, it deepens, but it also deepens to the point where it's like, wait a minute, you see what you see, you get some insight there's insight. Um, maybe you were getting to know someone and the bond did deepen a bit because there's things that you like, but you've got someone here who's stagnant and they are hesitating and they are um, wanting you to pursue. And this is something that you might see, like they want you to do all the work. And that's not how that works. It, 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 it's kind of a give and take effort, right? It's reciprocal. Okay. So there's separation. Time, taking time away from somebody here. Yeah, separating and continuing on with a separation or blocking. All right, so it feels like at some point in December, um, there's some type of relationship that you are coming to. It's coming to a head and you are deciding now that you don't want to have contact with this person or that you're not having hope anymore about this relationship. Like I said, it may not be romantic. It could be a friend or a family member. Uh, or it could be a work colleague. It could be a thing. Um, waiting for that call about a job and nothing's happening and just saying, you know, let me go find a different job, you know, um, or plans that just keep getting delayed and, and just saying, forget it. I'll go make my own plans. The energy is going to shift. Okay. And everything is going to change. And I feel like you're going to come to terms with what you need to come to terms with in December. Okay, an indulgent self, focusing on your self-worth, taking that time to heal, dealing with your shadow work, and appreciating yourself. This is one thing. This is your self-respect, okay? Maintaining your self-respect, keeping that intact. If someone's disrespecting you or manipulating you with emotional manipulation, um, or playing games or breadcrumbing you, it feels like, you know, if you don't do it already or you haven't done it yet, it's time to start appreciating yourself and just say no. I feel like it's just say no. Okay. Here's the clock the, the, it's time to heal, make some progress. You know, you're making progress for sure. Um, you may say to someone, you know, I can't talk right now. I just need some time. And then, you know, maybe that's your polite way of just kind of blowing them off, right? 
if you don't want to like have that conversation with someone some of you it's pointless it's like you've had the conversation and somebody doesn't listen um and i feel like a lot of you will just kind of just say yeah you know this is not a good time for me right now uh, i have other things going on or i'm healing from something and you know I, and just kind of like blowing them off a little bit here okay so I, I'm going to end that there. I know that was short, but I didn't want to leave you guys with absolutely nothing. Um, just because my energy is very low. And I feel like this was informative, though. So I hope that it helps you. Um, so, yeah, I'll leave it there for you. And I will see you guys back here tomorrow, Thursday, which will be your... Wait, what is today? Is it Wednesday? Yeah, tomorrow, which will be your weekend, your weekend love reading. Okay? Um, so, yep, there you go, you guys. I will see you all later. All right, take care. Bye.